Up the top at noon, new, new information about the startling crime a husband takes to Facebook to confess the murder of his wife. And police said that he also posted a picture of his dead wife's body. The story has received some worldwide attention now, and Local 10's Roger Losey is in South Miami from the scene of this just horrific crime. Roger? Horrific indeed, Christy. This started right up there in the upside, upstairs bedroom of this townhouse and ended up in the kitchen where those fatal shots were fired. The body of Jennifer Alfonso was removed from this townhome very early this morning. We can tell you that folks here in this little community, and for that matter, anybody who spends any time online, they're still reeling from this horrible crime. Derek Medina has a new profile picture this afternoon, but he won't be posting this image to his Facebook account. The 31-year-old is locked up, charged with first-degree murder. His days on social media, over. His final post on Facebook shocked the world. A picture of his wife's body taken moments after he allegedly shot her to death in the kitchen of their townhome. What sick person goes and writes a status about it and says that's something that they have to do? He killed her and he posted it. Medina followed the gruesome upload with a confession saying he killed Jennifer Alfonso because she was punching him and he could no longer stand the abuse. But it's Medina who displayed quite the jab on one of his many YouTube videos. His online activity painting a curious portrait of a man obsessed with ghosts, sports and writing. He penned a series of e-books dealing with relationships and his experience with evil spirits and aliens. Neighbors say he was just plain paranoid. The windows are not even open. There's cameras all over the place. He is just into himself by himself and his wife just came in and out. Jennifer Alonzo's family was overcome with grief at the scene. Records show she and Medina had been together about three years, married, divorced, and then remarried a few months ago. Her 10-year-old daughter from a previous relationship was visiting the townhome when she was killed. Officers found the girl upstairs. Today, she's back with her biological father. And at this point, it is still ex exactly unclear just what that little girl witnessed, how much of this whole uh, fight that she saw between her mother and Derek Medina. We can tell you that the Department of Children and Families has offered that family grief counseling. As for Medina, we expect that he will make his first appearance before the judge a little bit later this afternoon. Constance Christie. Okay, thanks for the update from South Miami, Roger.